Sometimes you have to put the best foot forward even when you know the truth and they're believing a lie. You still have to stand there in the presence of God. You still have to stand there and you love them anyway. This Bible is not a bat to be, be beaten on people with. It is a sword. Yes. That separates yes. the sin of this life. Yes. It is a sword that cuts. Yes. It's not a bat to bash people with. No. We don't take this word and beat people over the head, over, head with it. We don't kick them in the gut with it. We don't trip them up with the word. No, no, no. This word is the bread of life. You take this word in the presence of God. Yes. You take this word under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Well, it and it brings it. life. It brings hope. Yes, it brings it peace. You, it brings the anointing. It ushers in the Holy Ghost of God. It lets you know that you can come unto Him. All that, that labor are heavy laden. You can come to, come to Christ. Yes, Lord. And he will give you rest. Yes, he will he give will. you peace. Yes, he will. Salt is good, but if salt have lost its saltness, where will show you season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace one with another. Amen. He's the salt. You're the shaker. Praise, Praise God. Your name, Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Amen. He's the salt. You're the shaker. That's exactly right. Amen. You ever seen churches get split? And form about six or eight churches out of the one split. Uh-huh. If they're not being salty, but salty like they're supposed to, guess what God does? He rips the roof off the church. So here, you ain't going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. And guess what? You go from having a little, a little salt here to salt here and to salt here and to salt here. Salt, 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 salt. Why? Because God is calling everyone all times to repent. Right. Yes, amen. He's expecting you to have enough salt in you, enough presence of God in you, enough Holy Ghost in you, not full of this world, but full of God, not full of the things of this world, not full of the cares of money, not cares of this life, cares of getting something from men, but cares of God. We're building the kingdom. Yes. We're not trying to build a big ministry. We're trying to build the big kingdom of God, the body of Christ. We're body building today, Lord. Yes. Yeah. We're building for the body of Christ. It's not so I can be built up my name or your name or the ambassador's born no no, no, that's just so you know where we're at and you can come to the yeah, Lord's yeah, God. Yeah. You can come into the presence of God. If you ain't saved, you can come and get saved. If you are saved and you need to get refilled, you can come and get refilled. Yes. If you're a sheep that's gone astray, you can get back on the right road. Yes, Hit right. those brakes, do a U-turn and come back to come where on. you lost fellowship yes, with God. Amen. You can God allows U-turns in the kingdom. You can turn right around, honey. You ain't got to worry about all the things you've done. We know all the things you've done. Don't worry about all the things you've done. God is saying, come back. God is saying, come home. You ain't got to keep going down that way. I yes. know my road fits me well because I tried it all at the gates of hell and God rolled me up out of that place. I tried it on at the gates of hell and God brought me on the right road. I was going the wrong way for the wrong time with the wrong people but God saw fit to raise me up and raise you up. A brand new creature in Christ. A brand new creature in Him. A brand new presence in God. Thank you dear Jesus. Thank you for the turnaround God. Thank you Lord. He's the salt. We're the shaker. He's the salt. We are the shaker. Are you letting your words be salt? Are you letting your words be life? Are you letting your words, friend, is everything you're doing today, glory to God, bringing glory to Christ or glory to self? Are you building up your own name or building up the name of Christ? Are we building us or are we building Him? We're building Him. Don't make no mistake about it. People get mad because they don't take up offerings and stuff. That's how you build your church. I'm not trying to build a church. I'm trying to build the body of Christ. I want you to take what you get, glory to God, under the preaching of the anointed Holy Ghost yes. and take it out and be the salt that you come in contact with people. Yes. You need to take what's given to you here. And when you come across somebody that ain't saved, you need to have enough God in you, enough Holy Ghost in you, enough gumption about you to say, wait just a minute. You've been looking all your life for something, and I've got the answer. You've been trying to find the key to happiness your whole life. Guess what? I found it. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> we have found it. We're not searching for the truth. We're not hunting the truth. Amen. The truth is following the truth. Searching for the truth. We're doing the truth. It's the Word of God. Those that do the truth. In the name and spirit. 